everybody, and thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Foggy Jack Live podcast YouTube series. Today we're going to talk about uh, Spirit Halloween's 2021 collection. There's a lot of things to go over, and so we're going to hit it right now. So I apologize um, in advance. I'm not really good at this whole making video kind of like this. Um, I'm new to this, so <laughs> this is a little rough, but we're, we're getting through it, trying to figure out the different cuts and different things we can do for these videos. Um, we just watched the trailer for the 2021 collection for Spirit Halloween, and I want to say that there are a lot of cool things um, coming this year that I saw. Um, I did notice um, something really cool was their addition of um, Shorty from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. That is one of my favorite movies um, of all time. The werewolf was really cool too. Um, I think that he could probably use a few more touch-ups um, once you get him, but he is so on something that is pretty cool. Um, I'm just going to try and watch the video, doing comments, so I can figure out, remember what I'm talking about. The six foot tall skeleton um, is really cool. There's a lot of, um, in the HUD industry, it's called a three axis skull. And his eyes move, his head moves, and his jaw moves, three axes. And it's something that's really popular in the haunt industry and home haunts. And so bringing this six foot tall skeleton into the mix is a really cool addition for the lower end home haunters, um, I would say. I wouldn't say that um, if you buy stuff from Spirit, you're lower end, but we all know that Spirit props are on the cheaper end, um, manufacturing wise, not ta price tag wise, but it is a good addition if you want a, a skull, a skeleton like this. Also a three access skull is programmable for your own individual haunt, for your own individual um, ideas, and, and you can give rules and stuff like that. So it is more customizable um, than this one is, but it's it's a start, and I think it's really interesting and cool. Um, Hustle Henry is something that is also very interesting to see. Um, the clown is very unique looking and then with the pop-up head it is pretty cool too ghost face i think i've seen more i think i've seen quite a few animatronics of ghost face than i have in the other one really uh, the caretaker looks really cool um with the um tombstone on his back is pretty cool skeletons i always love or not skeletons scarecrows i always love scarecrows and Pumpkin Patches and Sleepy Hollow is my favorite theme to see in a haunt, those kind of things. So it is really cool to see another Scarecrow coming into the mix. Beetlejuice, everybody loves Beetlejuice. Um, his face is a little wonky, but it does look pretty cool. And then Wacky Mole looks like to be the biggest seller, I, I would say. He... He's very detailed. He looks very cool, and he would something. He'd be something that I would buy if I had the the change to to buy him. 
I do love clowns in a haunt. Clowns are, are very important when it comes to haunts. And so seeing more of these are really cool. There is um, one last year that Spirit came out with, um, the really, really tall one. Um, that one was really cool also. So they have a few new clowns coming. And then at the end of this trailer, they show a bunch of other props that they didn't um, highlight in the beginning of this uh, video also. There's a hanging guy. Um, there's a thing in a cage. Um, there's another dude in a cage. There's this really kind of creepy looking monster. There was a two-headed clown back there. There was a lady in a wedding dress holding a head. I don't know if these were, came out you last year. I don't believe they did, but um, it's something that's that's very interesting to see. Ground walkers and all that kind of stuff. And then at the very end, it's Pennywise. The collection for this year for Spirit Halloween does look very promising, very cool. Um, the graveyard shift does look very cool. Um, from the pictures that I've seen of the setup this year at Spirit, it's going to be very cool. I loved last year's um, shark tank kind of theme. I thought it was very cool that the TVs and the smoke and, and all that kind of stuff were kind of really reminded me of um, Universal Studios. But this year does look promising. It does look really cool. I know I keep saying that, but it does. Um, Halloween shouldn't just be one time a year. It should be all year long. And, and that's why I, I believe and that's why I do these kind of things for the podcast and the YouTube channel. So thank you guys for tuning in and I hope to catch you guys next time. When you watch horror movies in summer, do you cry out of angst for the Halloween season? <laughs> Have you ever wondered what happens behind dark, spiderweb-encrusted curtains of a haunted house? <laughs> do you believe that ghosts, goblins, and witches walk the same street you do? <laughs> do you have to snort pumpkin spice just to get your fix? <laughs> well, boy, oh boy, do I have a solution to all of your aching problems. The Foggy Jack Live Podcast. Where the haunters meet the haunted. Each week on the show, you'll learn behind-the-scenes info of the haunt industry, the talk of the paranormal and cryptid industry. We also talk about horror movies, Halloween, and so much more. So please join us each week for this creepy, kooky, mysterious, and spooky Foggy Jack Live podcast. And we'll catch you down in the pumpkin patch where the haunters meet the haunted. Hello, everybody, and thank you for watching this episode of the Foggy Jack live stream. Now, I just want to let you guys know about a few things that are going on behind the scenes of the Foggy Jack live podcast. First off, make sure you check out the podcast. You can search Foggy Jack live podcast anywhere podcasts are found. Second, make sure you go and follow us on all of our social media accounts at Foggy Jack 13. Make sure you head on over to Instagram, that's where we're most active, and TikTok. Now, Patreon. I know there's a lot of content creators out there that gripe and moan about Patreon, but let me just tell you that here at the Foggy Jack Live podcast, Patreon is a whole different ballgame. First, we have $1 tiers, okay? The first tier is $1. If you sign up, we're going to let you have behind-the-scenes access of the Foggy Jack live podcast. We also have $3, $5, and $10 tiers. The $3, $5, and $10 tiers, you guys are going to get postcards each month. Those are custom-made Foggy Jack live postcards, hand-signed and mailed by me. Also, you're entered to win free stuff every month. We're going to give away decks of cards, we're going to give away magic tricks, we're going to give away Halloween knickknacks, we're going to give out a whole bunch of stuff for being Patreon members. And that right there is worth the dollar, the 3 5 or $10 that you're going to spend each month here at the Foggy Jack Live Podcast. We're also going to have, we have a special promotion out right now for stickers. So if you sign up at the Foggy Jack Live Podcast, Anywhere from 3 5 or $10, you're going to get a custom Foggy Jack Live sticker. Our first goal is $100. After $100, we're going to do a Patreon-only podcast that's going to come out twice a month. So that's only for Patreon members are going to get that behind-the-scenes access and an exclusive podcast each month. 
and then the second goal is five hundred dollars and there you're gonna get exclusive patreon only videos that's behind the scene videos of every place i go to because i appreciate you guys so much now this next thing we are super excited to announce is our foggy jack loyalty program now i have to look at my notes because there's a lot that goes on at the foggy jack loyalty program first you sign up on patreon for 35 dollars a month okay that's $35 a month. You sign up on Patreon. And after three months, you're going to get a Foggy Jack sticker. That doesn't sound too crazy for $35. But you're going to get all of the access to everything. You're going to get live streams twice a month only to the loyalty members. And you're going to help out the podcast significantly. Then after six months of being in the loyalty program, you're going to get a custom foggy jack mug now that is cool and i don't even have one of those after nine months of being in the loyalty program you're going to get exactly what i'm wearing a long sleeve foggy jack live podcast t-shirt with this exact logo on the front now after 12 months of being in the loyalty program you're going to get a foggy jack live podcast exclusive hoodie now that is worth the money right there please make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell make sure you like this and go on over and see all of our other content that we have thank you guys for watching this episode and i will see you next time down in the pumpkin patch where the haunters meet the haunted thank you goodbye and blessed be